Hello everybody, today in front of me I have Samsung Galaxy A23 and in this video we would like to guide you through the process of setting up the parental control function for this device. Well, to start off you gotta launch settings, then enter the Google category and if you have any uh, accounts linked and edit, just get rid of them. So in my case it's a single account I have, so I'll tap on it, go into the manage accounts on this device open it and remove. After that, after all the accounts has been have been unlinked, thus removed, you gotta sign into the child's account. It is also worth mentioning that uh, it is important that the child do not know the password for it, since if you do, if uh, I mean if they do know it, they will be able to turn off the function. So in here enter the child's credentials or child's account credentials which I'll do off the screen real quick to, well, expedite the process a little. So after you have successfully signed into the, well, account that you're going to use, and, well, accepted all the terms, etc. Over here, scroll the same page down a little, find the parental controls section, tap on it, get started. After that, choose the child or teenager option. Next. Then select, well, the account that they have just signed into. After that, at the parent account page, enter the Google account that you are going to use in order to supervise your child, thus the parent's account. I'll do it off the screen real quick as well. Already, so once the Supervis supervisor's account credentials uh, have been successfully typed in. You can, well, in here, see and learn what uh, functions you'll be able to implement and well, what restrictions you can apply, what's not. After you have um, well, read everything you're interested in and uh, got yourself some starting instructions if you, of course, needed any, scroll the page all the way down and uh, confirm the uh, account linkage by entering the child's account password once again. And after that you'll get this dialog window <coughs> where you gotta click on the allow option, wait until the parent and child's account will be linked, then click on next can preemptively uh, block some apps you don't want your child to use as well as uh, after that uh, set some restrictions age restrictions to be exact or should I rather say age filters and then uh, well you can either tap on this button over here and well, the Family Link app will automatically be installed at the uh, supervisor's or parent's device, which in my case I'll use another Samsung phone as an example. Or you can skip the step and manually download the Family Link, but just to make this process easier, I'll go for the Install Family Link option. As you can see, the download process uh, has been automatically started. And once the app has been installed, just open it. Here, click on next. <clears throat> Skip all this little well, welcome instructions, should I say. Choose what account you would like to use as the parent account. If you have multiple accounts signed into the system on your supervisor's phone. Choose the child that you would like to supervise. And in here, scroll the page all the way down, you will not have as many devices as I do, so no worries. It will be more, way more convenient on your end, uh, I can guarantee you that. And in here you can uh, change the settings for the child, so as well as uh, monitor uh, their location, 
track the app activity, set up the screen time, so limit it if you want to, block or set some limits for certain applications, and that will be it. So thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your attention, and bye-bye.